My brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. Let us prepare our hearts and our homes that Jesus will dwell with us today. Good morning, everyone. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, today we're praying for the special intentions of Peter, Paul, and John Mai. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attend your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The vision of Isaiah, son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the teachings of our God, you people of Gomorrah. What to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and of the fat of fed beasts. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats. When you come to appear before me, who ask this from your hand? Trample my courts no more. Bringing offerings is futile. Incense is an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath and calling of convocation. I cannot endure solemn assemblies with iniquity. Remove the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. 
Seek justice, rescue the oppressed, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. What right have you to recite my statues or take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline and you cast my words before you. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. These things you have done and I have been silent. You, you thought that I was one just like yourself, but now I rebuke you and lay the charge before you. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Those who bring thanksgiving as their sacrifice honor me. To those who go the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against his mother, against her mother, sorry and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's foes will be enemies, members of one's own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. Now when Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and proclaim his message in their cities. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dearest friends, Jesus invites us, I think we've seen this reading like three weeks ago, to radical discipleship. We live in an era where people are explicitly who they are. They're not afraid to say, this is who I am, this is how I'm made. Whether what they're saying is wrong or right, they say it all the same. We live in an era where people not only speak but also act act out according to what they believe, without fear, without intimidation. Although it's not something very common around here, people being direct and saying what they think and doing what they say. But that's such an age where we live, where we as believers, we should be um, challenged to stand up to what we believe as well. Because 
Today, I believe a good number of people, a good number of people um, are passively aggressive in the sense that they see something wrong, no comment, indifference. I didn't do it. I didn't support it. I'm just cold and tepid. Not cold, not hot. So it's either white or black. That's the age we live in. And it's even worse. It's better you stand, you, okay, when, you, when we do something bad, we know we're doing something bad, and other people know it, and maybe we stand chance of being corrected. And maybe we'll have the Spirit of God to help us say, I'm sorry. Or the other extreme, you do good, and you stand by the good, come sunshine, come rain, come winter, come cold. There are better positions than being right at the middle. Not cold, not hot. Not white, not black. Not yes, not no. That's a typical, um, what do you call it, disease that we suffer, especially in this part of the world. But Jesus does not want us, want us to be tepid. And um, he invites us to be straightforward and to he says, whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He goes on and on and on, inviting us to be radically Christians, to be radically Catholics. And we read in the first reading of today where the prophet tells us, the prophet Isaiah, the reason why our prayers are not answered because of this passivity. He says... When you stretch out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, we come to Mass, we receive communion, we profess our faith. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. And then he goes on to admonish us saying, wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, remove the evil of your doings before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good. Seek justice. Now it goes on to invite us to action for the benefit of others. Rescue the oppressed, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. Because if we th see things going wrong and we are just quiet, although we know it's wrong, then we are just the same as those who are actually doing the wrong. How do you say Mahatma Gandhi would say the principle of nonviolence. A Christian has right as well to protest when something is going wrong in the society or even in the church. Find a way to make your voice heard. That's why we have all received the same spirit to speak up and to contribute to the restoration of justice, to the restoration of peace, to the restoration above all of truth, to the upright. I will show the saving power of God. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation. For through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. May it become for us the bread of life. Yes. Through the mystery of the water and wine, we'll come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Wash away my iniquities, Lord. From my sins, make me clean. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my and your sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, 
the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, all his holy church. Receive our blessing, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this case we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Henry, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus Christ, bring it to our lives. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those joining us at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Again, just a reminder that we are receiving Holy Communion on our hands during this time. And we invite you to please keep your marks on until you have received Holy Communion on your hands. And then you step to the side and then remove your mask, consume the Lord, put back your mask, and then return quietly to your pew. Thank you for your continued cup.
please join me in the Anima Christi. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from Christ's side, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto thee, that I may praise thee with thy saints and with thy angels forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we ask those who can to please help us out with the sanitization of the pews. You may come to, the, um, to this side and we'll furnish you with what we need to help sanitize the pews. Thank you and have a wonderful day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Saint Sing Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.